Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, full reptile update. I've been moving around lots and lots and lots of stuff. So let's get started. Ball pythons came out of my room and in here. Um, here they all are. They're all pretty much the same except for two of the females. Um, let me show you them. First off, Shelby. She was curling around her water bowl and knocked it over. So now all of her substrate is completely messed up that I made fresh for her yesterday. Um, but I was palpating her. I hope that's the right word. Um, but I was feeling some eggs. I felt about seven or eight. So that's really good. And same thing happened for this girl too. So I should be having some spider babies too soon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Three red-eared sliders, they're just kind of getting bigger. Um, yeah, they're just kind of swimming. I have all the lights off because um, it's kind of dark outside and we're expecting a tornado. Um, yeah, three, three paddle tail newts. They're all doing great, eating lots of worms. Um, they're loving to swim. And I have a gray tree frog in here somewhere. Yeah, he's back here. I wanted to move him in here because he likes it a lot better. He is, like, adorable. I love him. I really want to get a few more. Get about five of them, put them in here. Because they usually like to stay together most of the time. Not five, I meant like three. Three paddle tail newts and maybe three gray tree frogs. Um, have my uh, green frog in here. I'm going to let him go as soon as it warms up some more. Um, I just kind of wanted to keep him over the winter to kind of watch what he does. Um... Here's the red-eared slider that doesn't seem to grow. Just a little size comparison of him compared to all of his siblings. Big difference. Um, so yeah, he just won't grow. So I'm keeping him with my snapper. They love each other for some reason. They'll just hang out all the time together. And they don't ever mess around with each other. Um, Snapping Turtle, he's back there somewhere. He hasn't really changed any. He's still doing his thing. Um, TV. Okay, now for like the whole gasping part. Um, ball pythons moved. Already showed you that. Chameleons moved. From over there to over there. Um, so yeah, they're right here. And I have heat cable along the back now um, for some extra heat just to kind of warm them up. Um, and the heat cable is connected to here, so I had 20 extra feet of it. So I didn't really want it to go to waste. So these two are pretty much together permanently. Um... Yeah, the chameleons, nothing's changed. Uh, they're still the same. Three Jackson's chameleons, that's pretty much it. 65 gallon reptarium, um, 5.0 UVB, plant light, plants. Yeah. Um, and here's the rest of the heat cable. Here's the thing. I'll get to this last. Um, leopard geckos, nothing's changed. I'm thinking about taking all of this substrate out. Um, after I move the leopard geckos over to that, um, and put sand in, or aspen or something, and then get some Kenyan sand boas. Um, I've been wanting some, and they stay pretty small, and they have live births, so I don't have to worry about incubation or anything like that. Um, but I'll get, um, more detail about these, uh, when I move them over here. Uh, but yeah, here's what I've been working on for, like, so long. I'll go from the technology first to 
the actual sculpting stuff, but technology. Okay, three little halogen watts, um, <laughs> 20 watt bulbs, uh, three little halogens. Um, so they're pretty good, provide a pretty good amount of heat, but nothing's going to burn, um, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, the wires come out up here. I did with my amazing wire cutting abilities. Um, then I have the heat cable. Um, it runs underneath this grout, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And that keeps the belly, like their bellies, nice and warm. Um, so this will be the hot side, this will be the cold side. Um, so it turns out really good. Already measured all the temperatures works out great. Um, all I need to do is just add a few little touch-ups here and there. Um, and then I have a little LED light in here. Um, I think there's like nine LEDs in there just in like one fixture. Um, but I have it coming kind of at an angle and I have liquid nails holding it all in. It's like completely stuck. And then to make it red, I took some red nail polish and just kind of covered it up. Covered it up like really good with a few different layers and then um, stuck it in. And the wire comes out right here. Um, and then I spray painted over it a little bit just to kind of make it more kind of, you know, just just cavey and kind of dark so this will be their hide slash cold area so that's really cool um now back to like the sculpting stuff what I did first is I took aluminum foil made kind of the basis of what everything would be and then um, covered it with paper mache. Once the paper mache was dry, I took grout and covered it. Um, and this is how it turned out. Um, drought is completely dry. Really hard. Oh, that's what she said. Um, but it turned out really good. I'm glad with it. Then I spray painted it, sealed it, did everything like that. Um, drilled some holes to put some plants in and put some grout around the bottom of that to keep them steady same same um, same down here uh, this is a piece of foam from over there um, it has really good traction so that's a good thing for leopard geckos just to climb in and out of and here's the little hole that seems familiar um, yeah, this is pretty much it. I have a little water bowl um, that I took grout and completely like covered it just to kind of make it more, you know, like stuck in there. Gosh, why am I saying so many weird things? Um, and then I have some fake roots up here just to kind of make it more undergroundsy. Um, and this is how it looks. The whole cabinet is six feet tall, um, so. It takes up a pretty good amount of space, but all I have to do now is order some glass, which I will be doing tomorrow, and um, just have that installed, and then I'll put them in. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. That was my whole reptile update. And, yeah, so, all of my reptiles. Three Jackson's chameleons, five leopard geckos, three turtles. Well, three red-eared slider turtles. Another, like, dwarf red-eared slider turtle. Um, what else? Uh, one snapping turtle, three paddle tail newts, um, one gray tree frog, one green frog, and I think that's it. Oh, and some plecos, and an African dwarf frog, and... Uh, I forgot. I have too many things. Yeah, that's, that's it. I want to put more stuff in my room. Yay. It's really cluttered. I like turtles.